all right guys we are back with a new video now today we have a new comedian on the channel that goes by the name steven wright name of this one is called deadpan and one-liners now make sure y'all hit that like button subscribe to the channel like i said it's my first time ever reacting to this comedian hopefully he's funny and uh let's check it out y'all let's go My theory of evolution is that Darwin was adopted. <laughs> I got a new dog. He's a paranoid retriever. <laughs> he brings back everything because he's not sure what I throw him. Oh, God. <laughs> My uncle was a clown for Ringling Brothers Circus. And when he died, all his friends went to the funeral in one car. <laughs> So I get out of the bed, I figured I'd go for a walk. She said, how long are you going to be gone? I said, the whole time. <laughs> said, the whole time. And I was thinking about the new phone that I bought, and the first thing I did was push redial. <laughs> the world? Phone had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Whenever I think about the past, it just brings back so many memories. <laughs> I remember the day the candle shop burned down. <laughs> Everybody just stood around and sang happy birthday. <laughs> and then we saw a sign, next mile, one mile. <laughs> one time, right in the middle of a job interview, I took out a book and I started reading. The guy said, what the hell are you doing? I said, let me ask you one question. Okay. If you were in a vehicle and you were traveling at the speed of light and then you turned your lights on, would they do anything? <laughs> wow. He said, I don't know. I said, forget it then. I don't want to work for you. <laughs> I remember when I was a fetus, I used to sneak out at night when my mother was sleeping. Oh, God. I thought to myself, you know, now's the time I should start stealing some stuff since I don't have any fingerprints. <laughs> what in the world? I bought some powdered water, but I don't know what to add. <laughs> Sponges grow in the ocean. That kills me. <laughs> I wonder how much deeper the ocean would be if that didn't happen. <laughs> There's a fine line between fishing and just standing on the shore like an idiot. Well, yeah, you're right. You're right about that. I can levitate birds, but nobody cares. Levitate it's a birds? good thing there's gravity, otherwise when birds die, they just stay right up there. <laughs> Hunters would be all confused. Uh, thinking about my grandfather and how he had a special rocking chair built that would lean forward rather than backwards so he could fake interest in any conversation. <laughs> I took a lie detector test. No, I didn't. <laughs> I remember when I was seven, my grandmother said, Stephen, come over here. And I said, what do you mean? What you mean, what you mean? You better get on over there. <laughs> she said, you know, you're over there. Now come over here. I said, all right. And then she said, here's $10, and don't tell your mother that I'm giving this to you. Okay. And I said, it'll cost you more than that. Oh, wow. Wow. I'm not going to lie. I like that one right there. Now, I, don't, I probably would have never even thought of that. I was like, okay, Grandma. She said, come on over here. I'm going to give you $10, but you better not tell nobody. Okay, well, it's going to cost you more than that if you don't want me to tell nobody. <laughs> Bro, your grandma will be beating your tail probably. Or she might not even try to whoop you. She probably just laugh herself because she know that right there, that right there was golden. That was golden, bro. <laughs> I've never seen electricity. That's why I don't pay for it. Hey. 
I write right on the bill. Sorry, haven't seen it all month. <laughs> I bought this thing from my car. You put it on your car. It sends out this little noise, so when you drive through the woods, deer won't run in front of your car. I installed it backwards by accident. <laughs> Driving down the street with a herd of deer chasing me. Oh, man. I'm going to court next week. I have been selected for jury duty. It's kind of an insane case. 6,000 ants dressed up as rice and robbed a Chinese restaurant. What the world? <laughs> Yo, what the How did you come up with something like that? I don't think they did it. Hey, bro. I know a few of them, and they wouldn't do anything like that. Bro. So I was laying in bed with my girlfriend reading the secondhand diary that I bought. Okay. Okay. I don't remember this. <laughs> she said, let me ask you a question. I said, what? And she said, if you could know how and when you were going to die, would you want to know? And I said, no. Oh, uh, no. And she said, forget it then. <laughs> <laughs> Left the store and went down the street to my bus. My bus came. I don't think I... anybody would want to know that. Like, if somebody knew, like, when you're supposed to die, where they, like, I would be like, no, don't tell me because it would freak me out because I... Because as soon as you tell me, I'm going to be thinking about that day for the rest of my life. So I would not want to know. Please don't tell me nothing. And I like how straightforward he is with his jokes. He just comes straight at you, bro. I like that. I got on. Started walking toward the back. Sat down beside this beautiful blonde Chinese girl. Okay. <laughs> I said hello, and she said hello. I said, isn't it an amazing day? She said, yes, it is, I guess. So what do you mean you guess? She said, well, things haven't been going too well for me lately. Oh, wow. I said, like, what? She said, I can't tell you. I don't even know you. And I said, yeah, but sometimes it's good to tell your problems to an absolute total stranger on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> she said, well, I've just come back from my analyst, and he's still unable to help me. And I said, what's the problem? He wanted to know. She paused and said, I'm a nymphomaniac, and I only get turned on by Jewish cowboys. What? Then she said, by the way, my name's Diane. And I said, hello, Diane. I'm Bucky Goldstein. <laughs> Bro, he said, hello, Diane. I'm Bucky Goldstein. <laughs> what the word is Bucky go is, is that a name he made up or that's a real person's name, bro? I, if it is a real person, I don't know who that is. He's at Bucky Goldstein. <laughs> oh man, wow. Wow, man. Hey, look, we might have to check out some more. Uh what his name? Steven Wright. It is my first time encounter. This man is hilarious. He said some jokes I've never heard nobody else say before, and I love how straightforward he is with his jokes. He just he literally just comes straight at you, bro. He comes straight at you. I mess with that right there, bro. <laughs> uh, but look, y'all, we have made it to the end of the video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like on the video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with your notifications turned on. And I'll catch y'all in the next one, man. Let's go.